you know, I have to ask the ladies here. You guys got to deal with Kevin. Yes. You know, Kevin, the harshest of them all. How surprised were you? Well, we were quite surprised, but we were really pleased because Kevin was the, the dragon that we hoped would uh, be interested in our company because we always felt watching the show that he was really the greediest dragon and he got involved with companies where he really thought there was potential to make money. So we were thrilled. Um, but why Kevin over Jim? Well, the, what you don't see is, are some of the other discussions that happened, and I know they have to edit it to fit in a certain time slot. So what, what our business advisor had said is that we wanted the option to buy back the 10% at the same rate if he didn't get us into the U.S. within 18 months. So that was actually part of the deal. Um, as well, what we closed on was no royalty. So Kevin actually had te got 10% of the business for 50000 with no royalty. So... Um, it was a little different than, than what you saw. Right, a little yeah. more drawn out. Yes. Right. Um, so now, in terms of seeing Kevin come to give you the check, he's giving you a nice kiss on the cheek. He, he looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin has been extremely respectful of us. And we have worked very, very well with him. Um, we, we don't bug him. We don't call him every day. We discuss uh, the business with him when we feel that he can input into our business. I think he respects that with us. And he's been extremely responsive and respectful to us. So it's been a great relationship so far. Okay, let's go back to the beginning, though. How did you prepare for this pitch? Well, after we went through the interview process, the people at the CBC were very helpful in telling us sort of the best way to present the product, um, what would look better on camera, what would get their interest. So we had some excellent coaching, and then we took that information and then just tried to come up with a good story like Mark did about how, you know, a truthful story about how it all came about. And we practiced it in front of Claudia's mom, who is also a big fan of the Dragon's Den. And we had a number of friends give us advice. And um, the hardest part was really coming up with the valuation um, because we were such a, a new company. We'd only been in business for a couple of months, and we didn't have a lot of sales. So we really needed to be able to justify our valuation. OK. And how nervous, like as you were coming down those stairs into the den. Well, if I can give anyone advice that's going on a new season, don't wear heels if you're carrying things down. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really terrifying. It's pretty steep. Yeah, and it's very dark and, yeah, overwhelming. But, but as we progressed towards the taping, um, we prepared and we prepared and we prepared and rehearsed um, between the two of us and in front of people. And as we got closer, we got less and less nervous until almost the minute we walked up on stage, and that's when it kind of hit again. Um, but then as soon as Arlene put her hands in the dirt and came up and said, these gloves are different, both Wendy and I, we could, we could almost hear the, <sighs> oh, it's going to work. Yeah, yeah I went through the, we went through the open casting calls that were just on the CBC's website and uh, met Tracy and Michelle as well. What they do is they just, they herd you all in, in the main lobby, and you've hopefully applied online and submitted your business plan, and then you fill out the application when you get here. And then you hope that you're not in the nut bar camp that you hope you're in the legitimate camp. And then you get in front of the producers and you have a couple minutes to give your spiel and they give you some feedback and then you hope that the phone rings and they tell you that you have a filming date. So it's very, it's, it's an easy process. 